Okay, guys, uh, today we're going to go over a few more shapes. Uh, the first shape we're going to practice or demonstrate is an arc. Um, an arc is sometimes a little bit difficult, but if you break it down and to these finer steps, it should be relatively easy. So let's pretend that I want to do, uh, like I want to make a face. Here. So I'm going to first put an ellipse here. I'm just going to add a basic ellipse that is right there in the center of my page. And I'm going to make it relatively large so we can see an arc then. Okay, so we're going to pretend that this is our face here. And now I'm going to use an arc for a smile. So I'm going to give it a fill color just so it stands out a little bit. We'll keep it with red. And here we go. So in order to do an arc, um, what we're going to do here, um, we're going to begin with arc. Now, before I even demonstrate, guys, if you ever get stuck, if you just scroll down a little bit, you're going to notice this documentation link here. If I click on documentation, I scroll down, you can see some of these other shapes here, such as an arc, a quad, things such as that. So if you need additional help, click on one of them, and it will assist you. All right, back to what we're doing here. So I want to create an arc, so I'm going to type in a function arc. And how the arc is created, you're going to first set up the uh, x variable, so it's x1. So let's say that I'm going to type in like 200, put it right in the middle. And then how far down, again, I'm going to go with 200 just to make it nice and easy that you can see. We'll, we'll adjust with our number scrubber as we need. Next thing, how wide do I want the arc? Again, going across left, right, or on our x axis. Let's say if I'm going to do it 100 pixels, and then maybe the depth, again, the y-axis, how deep do I want this, um, this mouth to be? So let's say maybe I'm going to have it at uh, 50, something easy. Now, the hard part here is the actual arc. So what we're going to do, we're going to start it. Or at least I'm going to start mine at 0, so an angle of 0. And then I'm going to bring it over to 180 degrees. Okay. So let's take a look here, see what it made. Okay, so this is what my arc looks like. Obviously, I can adjust here. I can bring it down into position. Make it nice and even at 150. Maybe I want it a little bit wider. If I want it a little bit wider, I'm going to take this 100 and I increase this. There we go. And maybe I want it a little bit deeper. There we go. Nice big smile. There you go. Now, these, uh, these two here, the arc angles, notice this is where mine started over here on the left-hand side. So I can adjust as needed there. So maybe I wanted to curve up a little bit. Bring that over to a negative something relatively small. And then I can always adjust from here, too, to make it come up a little bit there. So that's up to you. But again, I just chose to use um, 0 and 180. And that'll make it come across. Obviously, you could uh, play around with these arc uh, angles to adjust as needed. Again, it's totally up to you. Hopefully, this helps you out creating an arc. And uh, let's keep coding. Good job.